guys, I'm back. Um, I know I haven't filmed any videos in a while um, because uh, I've been busy with uh, school and my book. But uh, this is a special video that I figured I'd do on my new camera. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed my book haul. I was trying a new thing where I was trying to be a little bit more inviting and a little bit more fun. So um, I'm just going to give you guys a quick update and then we'll get to the video. Um, there's nothing really much going on with the book. Same old, same old. Um, I'm still waiting on agents, which is, I guess, a good thing. No news is good news. Um, for the time being, I'm almost kind of done with the sequel. Not really yet, but I'm going to be starting a manuscript in a couple months. So that should be fun. Um, so yeah, um, that's basically what's going on. And my future projects, which I'll probably be doing uh, in the future, probably is I will probably be doing a um, book talk for The Darkest Minds, which I was going to do now, but uh, I'm going to do something else instead, which I'll announce in a few minutes. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing probably in my next video, which I'll probably upload videos more often now that i got a new camera, and it's really fun. So, yeah. So this video, I am going to do something a little different than I'm not used to doing. I am going to do an Insurgent trailer talk. The trailer just dropped the other day, and I haven't watched it yet, so not like my Hunger Games trailer where I had seen it already and I pretended I didn't see it, but this time, it's true, I didn't see it, and so we're going to watch the trailer together. And I will, we will watch the trailer, I will break it down, and we will talk about it piece by piece. So, uh, let's get going. guys that trailer was so good I swear to god like it, it was so amazing the moves and Shailene looks so good and the fact that she like Triss with the whole simulation thing that was amazing guys I mean I'm really looking forward to the full trailer during the Super Bowl I'm so excited I'm gonna go through it step by step okay first we get a um from the trailer opens up with like Tris with her eyes closed. I guess this is right before, I'm assuming it's like right before the, uh, when the trailer first opens up, we see like Tris standing in like what looks like the simulation room in Iridite, and she's like standing with the cords on her back. This must have been right before the simulation. And then at like three seconds, she has her eyes closed. Got a tr close up of her face. I need Buddy like narrating it so we don't really know what's going on, but uh, we could tell that it's right before the simulation and right before everything's about to go down. And then it like, like, and then she opens her eyes and then she's like looking at, she's looking at something, but we don't know what. I mean, in the next clip. And then she's looking at Janine and Janine has a clipboard in her hand. She must be studying Triss. Because if you notice from the first trailer, Caleb Woods and he's like, I don't know, but they're testing divergence. So this must have been the part of the book where she um, surrenders herself to Eridite and Janine has her under simulation and she must be studying her and divergence and what makes her divergent. Another, we get another um, shot of Triss looking at Janine and she looks like she's about to like attack. Oh, and then the, I love how the screen just goes dark for like, like, five, like, not even, one second, and then, and then she goes, really like, the, the cables, you get, like, another close-up of, like, the cables on her back, and then she's, like, gonna get ready to go through that, go through that, that glass, and then now we get, a uh, another shot where she's breaking through the cords have stepped out of her back, and she's going right through the, um, S and she's going right for Janine, and you just see Janine standing there with a clipboard, and she's like, oh, oh, nice, nice, she's coming through, okay, all right, let's, let's do this, you know, she's like, bring it on, bitch, you know. Then we get another one of Tress coming, um, the glass, and 
and he's gonna attack Janine. And again, Janine's just standing there, like, waiting for it to happen. She's like, let's go this. And then she's, like, standing there with, like... And she has something on her arm, which I noticed in the shot. Uh, it looks like a bandage. We got the bandage because, remember, Triss, um, at the end of the, the first movie, she put a knife through Janine's aunt hand. I like how they put that there. It's like she's still recovering. Because this is two weeks after the, the second movie ended. So this takes place two weeks after the, after the train scene at the end of the first movie. So, oh, oh. And then Janine drops the clipboard. She's like, uh-oh, now I'm scared, you know. And then we see Triss coming through. And it's like the glasses around her. This is kind of like the end of the first trailer where she's coming through and then it just like goes insurgent, you know? This is, we get more at this. And it's like, I love how it's all in slow motion. It's like the Matrix, you know? It's like we're going all in slow motion here. And then you see Janine just staring at her like, like we don't know what she's thinking because we're just like, she's a weird fit look on her face. And then, and then we see Trist, like Janine's waist and it's like she's going to like either grab it or push her back. So she, like, tries to kill her. She's like, I'm going to kill you, bitch. All right, she grabs Janine's waist, and she, like, pushes her back. So cool. And then I get this shot of her, like, floating in the air with all this debris around. So cool. It's, like, all the debris and, and the, you know, she's, like, floating back. This, this must be part of the, uh, the uh, simulation. Oh, and then she goes right through, and then we get a blank screen again. We get a blank screen right before shit is about to go down. Oh, and then we get the next shot. We get after the after the thing, it like kind of flickers, and then we get her falling through the debris, and it looks like she's falling out of the uh, out of the building. I guess like does like the building's gonna like like push her out on March twentieth. Oh, and then we get another shot of Tris falling out of the building. But it looks like the building is like kind of collapsing and she's falling out of the collapsing building and she has no not suspended by anything so it's like she's gonna fall out of the sky and like fall into the ground and then we get another dark and then, then the screen opens up again and we see another shot of Triss's back coming in I guess we're getting closer and closer to her falling out and they're gonna go like far away and then we're gonna do a close-up and then another far away again and now fall out of the destroyed building or cloud of the um like out of the building that's basically um, gone anyway, in a sense. I see her falling out again. It looks like she's free falling. And then she's like, you know, she's falling, but we don't know where she's going. So she. And then we just get another shot of her falling right past those. Kind of like, it kind of reminds me of like when she was falling, like with this, the way she's falling out of the sky, kind of like when she first flew into Dauntless in the first, the first movie where she was like going like that right into the Dauntless compound where she met four for the first time. But this one's cool because she's actually falling out of the sky and it looks like she's falling out of a building and it, the building's collapsing. So, and then we get the shot of the building. It looks like either it's collapsing or the debris is forming itself into another building. I can't really tell that much, but and, oh, and you can see the whole city in the, you can get like a whole um, landscape of the city and it looks like the city's all destroyed from like the war and it's like we're all in post, you know, like post-apocalyptic Chicago and like it's all like, you know, destroyed and everything. It's so cool. Is. Oh, and then you see the building, other buildings around it collapsing and it's not just one building that she's falling out of. I wonder if this is like all the faction buildings and they're like falling down and they're all like collapsing with her. The, the buildings must be collapsing with her. And as she's falling, so are the buildings. The. And then we get another shot of her. It looks like she's falling. Like there's a little spot. I see her coming out and their buildings also collapsing again. The one. And then we get another shot of the camera up here and then she's falling away from it. Like she's falling away. It's like we're watching her from the top of the building and she's falling like towards the ground you can see around her the ground and it's like there's a street and then you see like on the side of her you get out of those buildings that are collapsing around her and it looks like she's free falling and then she falls right into the ground and it goes boom like all the it's like the ground also collapsed between beneath her and she went to she like went deep into the ground and we don't know it's like did she fall down a deep abyss that we don't know where she went but and then you see like all the thing go woo, like all of the stuff, like it looks like confetti and it's going everywhere. Insurgent. Tickets on sale February 25th in theaters March 20th. That was
was the trailer. It was very beautifully cut. It great camera angles, great shots, great like landscape scenes. I like the buildings, how they're like slowly um, drawing around her and collapsing. I like the first um, bit, like when we start in the first Divergent trailer, where like we get like a good glimpse of the city and all the everything is like all old and looks like it's gonna collapse in a way. And I like that scene that and we see all the buildings now in the second movie and it kind of shows how the society is kind of getting destroyed after the war and after like because basically goes down in Insurgent and we see the factions crumbling and then by the end of Insurgent, spoiler, spoiler, mute if you didn't read the book, um, it's like at the end of Insurgent basically all the factions are gone and then mute, mute, mute again because I'm going to spoil Legion for you people and in Legion we see the society, like we so what's we see what's beyond the fence, and then we know that we're not in the factions anymore in Allegiant, but like beyond the fence, beyond Amity, because we know Amity's beyond the fence. Because if you notice the first movie of Divergent, where Triss is like, What's out there? and then like <laughs> Christine's like, Monsters, like, No, wait, beyond that. And then like, four is like, Let's just say we built the fence for a reason, and then that's kind of like a foreshadowing of what we get in Allegiant. Because when we in Allegiant, you notice that. We know, we know what's beyond the fence because we know that there's um, this like institution where people are studying with the GPs and the GBs, which is genetically pure and the genetically damaged. And then we get, you know, all this stuff and it's like a and abandoned airport and everything. It's amazing. And this is kind of like, I know I'm getting off topic, but basically in Allegiant, and then by the end of Allegiant, mute again because this is, uh, you can mute this whole part because this this is uh, spoiling. So by the end of in Allegiant, all the factions are gone and everybody has to work on their own to decide their own society. And it kind of goes back to the society where things once were and nobody's defined by their faction anymore. So, um, so basically, I like that. Like, I like how they did that in, you know, with the Insurgent trailer with like their show everything. And I'm excited about to see the factionless and how like, how um, Evelyn, you know, gets to wise and like shows everybody together for like the like team up and everything and that like little like altercation Triss has with like Evelyn Eaton and then she tries to like kind of almost in a way break up to Wyatt's and Triss, which um, should be interesting. Spoiler if you didn't read Insurgent. Um, I'm, uh, this is like a spoiler video. If you guys didn't read Insurgent or you didn't read Allegiant, but you're gonna go see Insurgent, I mentioned things from the books. So, mute it if you didn't read the book. I don't want to spoil anybody, so I don't need hate if anybody didn't read the book and I spoiled them. The, I, I said mute it for a reason and I will, I will post an indication in the video to mute it. So, okay, unmute. Um, getting back to the trailer. Um, they're basically looks really good and it looks like it's gonna be like the book I mean it looks a little different because there's a lot of CGI which I'm not really used to it's kind of reminds me of comic like Spider-Man I guess in a way and it looks really cool you notice in the first movie we didn't see that much CGI with Divergent like there's maybe a little bit of green screen action but not that much I mean you saw in like Ford's Fear Landscape and you saw in Triss's like aptitude test and didn't see that much but this one looks like there's gonna be a little more green screen action which I don't mind I mean it looks really good and I look forward to seeing the movie I'm gonna go see it the day it comes out March 20th and that's a week before I go away because I'm going on vacation to California the week after that so um, I'm going to see the movie the day it comes out because my dad was booking the trip I'm like do not book it the day where I am I will make it to that movie the day it comes out I'm gonna go buy my ticket that morning the day it comes out and have my mom go to the theater Get the tickets ahead of time so it's not sold out because I've never had that problem when Divergent came out. And then I'm going to go to that movie probably like around 4 o'clock showing. So I'm very excited for that. You can follow me on Twitter at LiddyFan93 and on Instagram it's at DivergentFan93. My Twitter and my Instagram, I'll put them in the doobly-doo. Um, subscribe, like, something new, I want to do a book talk because The Darkest Mind was a really good book and I need to talk about it because it was just so amazing. And it's nothing I really do on this channel. But I'm thinking about doing it, which should be interesting. So post anything in the comments that you want to know about me. Um, I was thinking about doing another Q&A soon. I don't know when I'll be doing that, but I have to think of things because I'm busy with school and stuff. So it's very hard to film um, when I have school. So uh, I will try to do a Q&A soon, but my next video is probably going to be a book talk. 
So I will probably post that up next week. Um, so, and please uh, comment. I could use the subscribers, so please tell your friends about my video, my channel, and um, I hope to talk to you guys soon. So, I'll see you later. Bye!